So I flew to Singapore aboard PALS A321 aircraft, interviewing crew members, visiting Changi Airport, meeting subscriber Leonard, and spending the night inside a capsule before heading to Marina Bay Sands the next day to meet travel buddy and subscriber Andrew and wife Angelique, and eventually heading off to take a dip in the world's highest swimming pool. These are just some of the highlights as I feature my journey to this fabulous city-state here on airline travel and airports. Hours before I got to Manila International Airport, I got informed that my flight today is overbooked. I'm not in a rush, so let's see what we can get for compensation. Uh, you volunteer kayo, sir. We will give you a compensate of a uh, round-tip ticket, valid for one year. Right. It's either Manila, Singapore, Manila, or vice versa, Singapore, Manila, Singapore. No upgrades, but I do like the offer of a free ticket. Uh, I was told that the flight is full. Yeah, yeah. It's overbooked. So they're offering me um, a confirmed flight for uh, 3 p.m., which is afternoon, and then uh, free of charge, na, yeah, free ticket from Manila, Singapore, Manila. After voluntarily giving up my seat and getting booked on the next flight that leaves in the afternoon, I then make my way towards the gate, seeing parked planes along the way and walking past the crowded gate for a flight that I'm supposed to be on. I continued on towards the Mabuhay Lounge where I get to claim my free ticket before staying there till the afternoon. Sir Chiang, sir, this is your round trip voucher for Manila, Singapore, Singapore, Manila, or Bali. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now this is where I'll be hanging out for a few hours. Free unlimited food and overflowing drinks, and a chance to get spotted by a subscriber. By the way, this is Chuck. Okay, Hello, he's spotted me doing um, the taking Dog videos. And <laughs> yeah, so at least Chuck is now part of the vlogs. <laughs> it's a pleasure there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. After almost half a day at the lounge and having my fill, it was time to set off for the gate as a boarding process for my flight eventually began. Finally, I'm on my way to Singapore. Hello, this is um, Maria. Welcome to Netta. Hello, hi. No, I'm not sitting at the back this time. I'm given a seat at row 42K with extra legroom, at no extra cost. It's something that I'm not quite used to as I often sit at the last row. I guess it's fine for a change and for a good view of the plane's engine. Meanwhile, as passengers continue to fill the cabin, I quietly observe what's around while enjoying the space ahead of me. Now, I'm really beginning to like this. Pushback began shortly, followed by a quick safety demo by crew members. Not too long and we were positioned at the runway and ready for takeoff. Takeoff was quick and we were airborne in no time. As our aircraft continued to climb over Manila Bay, the view from my window somewhat reminded me of port areas like ones in New York. Meanwhile, as our aircraft continued to ascend, passengers can either wait to use the lavatory or take this time to take a nap, all before seatbelt sign is turned off. Once permitted, I went to use the lavatory for a bit and capturing from the back the start of crew activities. 
I ordered a special meal so you know who gets to be served first. Yup, that's how it goes. If you order a special meal, you get to be served ahead of the others. That's one thing I learned from always sitting at the back where I often get to be served last. Thanks to this tip, I get to enjoy my Korean barbecue meal without waiting too long. Now what comes as a surprise is that after meals, mango ice cream is handed out for dessert. Selling of duty-free items follows shortly and for a limited time, Philippine Airlines sell exclusive items such as this A350 model plane, which I purchased as a gift for one of my longtime subscriber Nikolai Pehi from Dasmarinas Cavite. Now this gives me an idea of giving out model planes as gifts to subscribers whenever my channel grows. So viewers, do subscribe and keep in touch through comments as you might just be one of the lucky ones to receive items like this one. Stay tuned for announcements and updates through my Facebook page and Instagram. Anyhow, we were soon descending into Singapore Changi Airport, and crew members do their rounds to prepare the cabin for landing. We finally touched down in what many consider as the best airport in the world. This is Singapore Changi Airport. I'm just glad to be back here again as spectacular sights of the place already begin once you arrive. From the runway, you get to see aircraft lined up and most often than not, seeing them sitting close by from where you're at. Now this is just the outside. Wait till you get to visit what's inside the airport's terminals. Our plane comes to a stop, and I just had to wait for all the passengers to disembark so I can get some time to talk to PAL crew member Rina to ask her for some insights. This is Rina's spot Hi. interview. Siya Rina, um, a while ago, I noticed that quiet ka lang dyan during mm -hmm. takeoff and landing. Mm -hmm. Is there a procedure that you need to memorize? Yeah, oh, not really memorize, but you have to uh, know by heart yung gagawin mo during the critical phase of flight, which is takeoff and landing. That's a procedure? We, yeah, we have to concentrate, be aware of our surroundings. Uh, Kaya hindi kita dinidisorder. Gusto ka na kausapin pero... Bawa nga pag nagdadalan. Oo nga eh. Kaya kasi alam ko critical yung faces na yun eh. Question, doors to arm. Pag natanggal yung pin, mag-be-inflate ba yan? Actually, be-removed from the ano eh. Dapat nandiyan siya. Parang naka-secure talaga siya. And bago naman siya matanggal. Hindi siya basta basta nakakata. Okay. May safety feature siya. Okay, ngayon tong kanyang babaan yung mga passengers. Hmm. So, nililisin niya ng ground crew. Ng cleaners uh -oh. from the Tapos, outlying station. Sa inyo, what do they do you do in between? Do you do but, reports? Um, our pressure normally does the reports. Ah, okay. Kami, well, yeah, kung nangyari may sira ng USB or whatever, we report to her so that she can log out. Log in. I mean, log on sa um, CML, we call it CML. 
Tapos kami naman, like, check for left behind items or like, kunyari, may naiwang bag, we're not supposed to touch it really. Kasi, okay. we don't know, may bag, may bag or whatever. Oh. Ay, ang little insights lang from Rina. Kasi di ko siya makausap ka dito. <laughs> it's nice to learn stuff from crew members, but then it's time for me to go. Bye. Thank you, boy. Thank you, thank you. Safe flights, Papa Lek. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you. Bye. As usual, I'm one of the last persons to disembark. On the way, I get to savor the sight of planes without being swept by the crowd and getting a chance to talk to airport staff like this lady I met. Ano ba katan dami? Katan taming taong bumabiyahe itong weekend. Parang puno puno lahat ng aeroplano. Uh, gusto nilang biyahe dito kasi maraming sila nakikita dito sa ano, siguro. Hindi pa nag-holiday lately? Holiday is uh, national day. Ah, national day okay. Day. Itong last holiday lang? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. until now, it's long holiday. Ah, long weekend? Four, yes, for oh, public holiday. Oh, okay. Thank you! <laughs> As I walked along further, I can't help looking at planes parked at the gates. I didn't mind the long walk as I got distracted by countless of souvenir shops this terminal has as I proceeded to immigration. Once cleared, I headed to arrivals to meet subscriber Leonard, who was eager to show me this airport's newest attraction, a nature-themed entertainment and retail complex called Jewel Changi Airport. The place houses the world's tallest indoor waterfall in a terraced forest setting, and is a must-see for people visiting Singapore. After a quick dinner and a bit of walking between terminals, we then hopped on a train to get to Chinatown, where Leonard accompanied me in finding my budget accommodation called the Atlantis. This is where I'll be spending the night inside a spacious capsule that has all the amenities I need to recharge my gadgets as well as a quiet place for a restful sleep. Next morning, I'm up and moving in this busy neighborhood called Chinatown, where I'm off to take the train to meet my other subscribers. With the city's fast and efficient subway system, it didn't take long for me to arrive in one of Singapore's popular hotels, the Marina Bay Sands. There I met subscribers Angelique, along with Andrew, who's nice enough to bring along a present, a Singapore Airlines A350 model plane. More to that are other freebies, and the best one, being given a chance to swim at the world's highest swimming pool. Okay. Well, there you go. Thank you. Without compliments. Yay. Care of Andrew and Anjali, thank you very much. Shortly, we find ourselves at the hotel's rooftop to an infinity pool that offers a spectacular sight of the city. Now, I don't get to visit this place often, and I'm grateful to Andrew and Angelique for sharing these things. As what travel buddy Andrew considers, live life to the fullest and try to enjoy every minute of it, which got me reflecting for a while that there's so much to be thankful for in life and how I can pay these blessings forward. In the meantime, I'm savoring this gift as well as the time spent with them. Afterwards, we visited Club 55 for an afternoon drink, still at Marina Bay Sands and overlooking the gardens by the bay. With a relaxing atmosphere, this is definitely a good place to chill out over glasses of champagne catching up with stories, sharing travel plans, as well as giving a toast to the newlywed lovebirds, Andrew and Angelique. With the evening still young, we traveled to Clark Key by cab to have a few more drinks in a different setting. And with a short stroll past some crowded restaurants and establishments, we find ourselves in Andrew's favorite bar, the Crazy Elephant. It's here where we enjoyed our time under neon lights, simply watching boats moving along the river, chilling out over ice-cold beer while listening to the sound of rock and roll, rhythm, and blues. All that before concluding everything and calling it a wonderful night. This is Mitch Young. Thank you for watching.